Hello everyone, this is One Super Gamer, and welcome back to Persona 5 Royal. Last time, we explored through Kamashita's palace and made it to the halfway point. This time, we're gonna continue as far as we can go. Okay, so let's go. Let's move on. So, continuing on, we have... Pointless room is pointless. Yeah, this is the most pointless room in the world. I never get this room. Uh, let's uh, continue on. Anything else in here before we continue? No, there's not. Joker. Hold on, Joker. This place is huge, yet there are no guards? That seems suspicious. Bet the treasure's up ahead, right? We don't got a choice but to keep going. Mm -hmm. I guess that's true, but we need to make sure we're ready for whatever may be ahead. What do you think, Joker? Should we continue onward? Let's go. Wait, was that... the gym? I get it. The gym's some kind of holy place for him. You... I can't believe he can think like that. Especially after what he did to Shiho. God, that bastard makes me so freaking sick. Oh, just you wait, Kamoshida. I see. So you're the ones who tampered with the library. It seems my time waiting here has paid off. Just as that ape there said, this place is a holy ground for our great king, Kamoshida. It is preposterous for miscreants like yourselves to come waltzing in like this. You will pay for foolishly defying King Kamoshida with your lives. You knew this would happen. Well, we don't have a choice. Let's take it down. Wouldn't be the halfway point without a mini boss. And he starts out with charge. Oh my gosh. Look, he's trying to do something. It's important to guard if you think you're in danger. When you guard, you will not only reduce damage received, but you'll also be protected temporarily from being knocked down and from ailments. If you think the enemy will perform a powerful attack or target your weaknesses, it might be wise to employ guard to protect yourself. <laughs> With charge, we will absolutely be doing that. Charge doubles your next physical attack, which is devastating this early in the game. Hell, this, this kind of thing would be devastating near the end of the game, too. Okay, it didn't do much because we guarded, but I guarantee if we didn't guard... It would have killed him. So this is Archangel. He is a mini boss. He has no weaknesses. He has a resistance to fire, ice, electricity, and bless. So what you're going to want to do is either attack it with wind attacks, which of course Joker does not have any, or if you want to be a bit more creative, use Dormina on it. <laughs> Fuck. He has a sleep resistance. I forgot about that. I'm gonna have Morgana heal himself. And Ryuji is gonna use lunch. On. I'm gonna have On use a normal attack. After attacking, he will uh, waste a turn just thinking, so. I'm gonna have Joker switch to uh, Agathion. And, uh, use... Actually, does he... He does not have a curse weakness. I mean, resistance. So, I'm gonna use Aha, actually. He didn't attack, so Morgana's gonna use Garu. Ryuji gonna use Lunch. Uh, have on attack normally. He uses Charge again. So, everyone guard. Interesting strategy. You could use the spotlight in the fight and just have the person you use the spotlight on to guard. Of course, it's very risky though, so watch out. Let's go. All right, gonna use Aha again. Gonna have Morgana attack, and then I'm just gonna have On heal herself. Oh shit! I did not mean to do that. I meant to use lunge. It's fine. Honestly, we might be able to win next turn. 
He's composed again. Let's use AI again. Morgana will use Garu. Ryuji, finish it off with lunch! Guarding is very important. It's not always useless. If you ever feel like you're in danger, don't forget to guard. It does way more than reduce damage. And Ryuji and On leveled up. And On learned a new skill, Dormina! Joker already knew the skill, but this is a very good skill, skill to have in a later fight. I, of course, will be going over that fight once we get there. <sighs> Didn't realize those things could be that tough. Yeah, looks like he stopped making concentrated effort to stop us now. Joker, I've helped you learn a few different things so far, but there's no more time for lessons. I'll compile some info you need to know for battle, so be sure to take a look later. Ailments, attribute affinities, rush, and skill selection assistance have been added to the battle tutorial menu. Tutorials you have seen before can be viewed in the main menu. Press Y to open the menu, select system, and then tutorial. <laughs> Crap! More of them! What should we do? Head back? No, the treasure is definitely up ahead, and there has to be a path to it somewhere. See anything that can help us zip by here? Keep your eyes sharp. Nice. Phew, that was close. Good going, Joker. That was some expert grappling. And now we can investigate this area. Let's get to it. Yes, let's. So, we could just go down here and just continue on with our lives. But there are a few hidden items in this room. Joker, there's a chest. There's a chest here. And it contains baptismal water. I think this heals all... No, this stops all status effects if memory serves. Uh, where is it? There it is. Remus... Removes all staff buffs for one foe. Really nice item, honestly, to have uh, in the first palace. Not many enemies know too many staff buffs this early, but it'll definitely be helpful for a certain fight coming up. Let's go across here. See if there's anything we may or may not have missed. I hear a treasure chest. Can you treasure jump down, Joker? Spotted. Thank you. Must be something good in and inside this treasure chest is... An alert capsule, which uh, cures certain status effects, such as sleep. I have something. All right, we'll jump back up here. I think that's it for all hidden items, but I'll check down here just in case. I hear a treasure chest. Oh, it's over there. Eh, it's not that worth it. We'll just continue on. It's not even locked or anything. We got silk yarn. Oh, we have another. We have plant bomb. These items can be used to make uh, smoke trees. And I hear another treasure chest. Hmm? Huh? The hell is that? How suspicious. Looks like we might have found something. Let's check it out, Joker. We have we have a thick parchment in here. Let's go inside this room. All right, and there's chest. the treasure chest oh, yeah. that we heard. Inside is Sudi Hemi armor. And we go through here. And there's an enemy in here. Watch the movement. Let's hide in here and take it on. Oh, take it on, I said. <laughs> Alright, I finally downed these Kelpies, so let's talk to them. Let me your power. Then let's talk. Once we understand you, me lend you my power. That's ironic. A shadow with a sunny expression. <laughs> Let's match me not make excuses. Me lost, so make so me pay consequences. Me am really in soup now. Do what you want. Me am ready if you want to grill me so. I'll make you into soup. What? Me was talking at metaphors. Me really hoping that soup is metaphor too, but... <laughs> since ancient times, human feared and respected gods and spirits. So why me in this situation right now? Why me at your mercy? Times have changed. What? Me get it. Humans become much stronger now. Oh. Me remember talking to you before. Hmm. Me remember now. I am me am not a shadow oh, that belongs here. Me exist and see a souls of humans. Me am Kelpie. 
Meet my power is your power. Use it how you want. Got Kelpie. Our persona stock is full again, but we'll just give up Jack O' Lantern. Your power is incredible, Joker. Okay. All right, let's continue on. Let's go across this room that was in entrance. That's pretty shady. There's definitely something fishy over there. There are vines growing on the door too. Yeah, by the looks of it, no one's been in there for a long time. I wonder what's over there. Should we take a closer look? Joker. Hey Joker, do you see that handle-like thing at the top of that arc? You may be able to get to the other side if you use your grappling hook there. But. This room seems different from everywhere else we've seen so far. Yeah. And there's something super suspicious over there. Rats. Come on, follow me. What is this? Just what I thought. A will seed. Will seed. Palaces are locations that grew distorted from their original forms due to their ruler's cognitions. When such distortions coalesce into form, this is the result. I call it a will seed. Distortions coalesce in the will seeds? Should I try explaining that again? Uh, uh, just forget it. That's a will seed. Moving on. So, what do we do with it? We take it. It may not be as prized as a treasure, but it's still quite the rare find. Making it ours will only do us good. I think. Um, is it really okay to take it? Nothing shitty better happen when you take it. Like some trap going off or we all end up cursed. I'll give it a try anyway. Red Lust Seed. Nice. The will seed is ours. I guess nothing happened? There are more of these around here somewhere. As far as I can tell, there are two of them left. Huh? How can you tell? You smell them or something? Yeah, like how dogs can... Oh, but you're a cat. I am not a cat! We should get moving. I just seem like a cat. Yeah, sure, Morgana. There are locations within the palace where the palace ruler's cognition is concentrated. Due to the cognition cognitive distortion at these locations, items called will seeds will appear. There are three will seeds in each palace. When you obtain a will seed, you will recover a small amount of SP. Use RB to open up the map and view the will seeds you collected. Will seeds are extremely worth your time. You're gonna want to investigate every inch of this palace to find will seeds. I, of course, will be finding every single will seed in this game. They're, they can be easy to miss, so do not worry. I will find all of them. Let's go up here. Actually, going up here is the way out, so let's go down here instead. <laughs> and we got a shadow down here, and it's another, uh, it's another uh, strong one. Joker! I'll Got it. Your true form. There we go. That is one added benefit to using Dormina. He was unable to attack and hurt us drastically. So let's hit him with a normal attack. Boom. Use power slash on Panther again. Panther's a bit low, but it's okay. I think this battle is as good as done. Status effects are useful. I prevented a death by doing that. I'm going to start using my items. 
to heal. Because I am running low on SP. If all those fails, I do have some SP recovery items. But that's if worse comes to worse. We're honestly on the fight. We're honestly almost done with this palace. So I think I am going to finish it in one day. Even though I said I was probably going to finish it in two days. Got a guilty whip. Hey, look at this. Okay. And On's going to equip it. Is there a search item? No, there's not. All right, there's nothing else. Let's continue on. We're now on the roof. You notice? Hey, take a look at that. Oh, that matches up with the map. There's no doubt that's the tower we're headed for. So the treasure's up there. Hell yeah, we did it! So where's the entrance? Ugh, not again. It's no surprise the security would be tight around here. Let's go. But as they said, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Let's joke, Joker. Now, you can use your grappling hook to avoid all these guys. But the 60 experience per fight does attract me, so yoink! Be a true form. Don't move. Oh, okay. So sometimes technicals can actually uh, bring down an enemy. If you're lucky enough for that to happen, you can get a free all-out attack potentially. Technical damage is really good. Be sure to use it. We're done here. Let's go. Yeah! Victory! Alright. Joker is out of SP. Let's fix that. You know what? I have 11 of these. It's cheating, but. Just like the hundred thousand yet, and shut up, Jimmy. <laughs> Show me your true form. Ryuji and On leveled up to level eight. All right. Okay, we're done. Joker got a little bit hurt in there, but it's okay. Let's continue on. Uh, am I forgetting something? Oh, it's up here. Dude. <laughs> All right. Down there is the straightforward way to go, but there's actually a will seed hidden here. This one can be easy to miss, so go for this vent. Inside, you can hear there's a treasure chest with a curse of Akatama in it. That is a weak curse attack, by the way. And then you keep riding up the grappling hooks. And up here is the Wilsey. Will seat. Huh? Let's take it. Yes, that's the second Will seat. All right, second Will seat is ours. Now let's go back down. Going up here, through the back through the vent. And we return to the room. Let's go down. And there's a search item here, cork bark. Well, what's going on? The distortion's getting stronger. The treasure has got to be nearby. All right, we're in the final stretch. There's got to be corrupt. There's got to be a contraption somewhere that can move all the bars of this doorway. All right, let's look for it. I can feel it. 
We have another search item here. And we have, um... <clears throat> nicely sculpted pillars. Um... And... Huh? huh? What's this? The hell? Is it a trap? Could be a hidden room. Let's check it out, Joker. Alright, let's go through. search items here and we got an elevator shaft well. let's see where it'll take us hmm. huh no reaction the other one moved but not this one no sound from the gears probably because it's not moving maybe there's a switch hidden somewhere that can activate this thing well there is one hallway we have yet to check out let's go down here let's see it <laughs> How can something be so funny yet so terrifying at the same time? I love this thing. What the heck? This is disgusting. Either way, it's kind of strange that this would be our dead end. Let's investigate it. Hmm? Huh? This looks familiar. This is an entrance hall. Have you already forgotten? Huh. I didn't realize we would end up here. You notice? Hey, look. It seems there used to be tons of soldiers wandering around, but I don't see any of them now. Actually, let's look around. Because the memory serves, yes, there is a chest here. You couldn't obtain it earlier because of those guards controlling the area. It had a life stone in it. But besides that, it's the same place we've been to 25 times. But, oh wait, there's another treasure chest over here. I almost missed that. Talk about and it has magic ointment. Let's keep continuing on. Go up here. And there's a hidden room next to this searchable item with a tin clasp in it. And there's a lever here. Let's investigate it. Oh, something's moving. Are those gears? Oh, I see. I bet we can access an area that we couldn't before. Good, good eye, Joker. All right. Now that the gears are moving, let's try and use that elevator again. I can Do you think Now the elevator will work. All the way down in the basement, a secret room. And take a look, our third will seed. But as you can see, there is a shadow guarding it. Be healed up for this, for this uh, shadow. I'm just gonna heal up Ryuji. This shadow is the toughest enemy in this whole place. So be prepared before you fight it. Hey, over there. The binding door. We probably need to get in there, but it's guarded pretty well. Man. Right again. I can sense a will seed beyond the door, but it's going to be rough going. This part is tough, so... Here we go! Now, then. Looks like this one's extra tough, Joker. Are we doing this now? We sure are. There you are. You're not taking another step. What? I guess we'll have to step on you first. Let's do this! Step it in, huh? On? Oh, no. uh, ah! It's coming! Uh, choose a better word choice, Morgana. This is Mara! So this thing is strong against everything except physical attacks. That is right. So don't bother using magic on it. I'm gonna have Morgana stay as a healer because this thing also has really tough attacks. Ryuji, I'm gonna have him use lunge on it. And on, I'm gonna on is gonna be on sleep duty. I'm gonna try and make it fall asleep. And it worked. 
I'm gonna have Joker twist the lunge and hit it with a technical. And it knocked it down. Assault dive and on. See what I mean? He is fucking tough. Those were my druids I bought. Well, I have eight bombs of life. I'm just gonna use that. But those were my druids. Use them now. This thing is freaking tough. All right, Ryuji, use lunge again. On, we'll make it fall asleep. Please on. Yes. Joker will use lunge. Yes, and he knocked it down. I think that could be it. Oh my gosh, really? Oh, and it knows Dia too. But that's the only move it can use. So, I think this fight is as good as over. Yeah. That fight can be tough. Don't be ashamed if you lose to it. Like, on died in one hit. Hell yeah! Let's swipe this will seed and get out of here! I am so done with this place. We're almost through here. Just hang in there, Panther. And then, the final will seed. Crystal of Lust. Whoa! Whoa! What the hell is that? It got all... I don't know how... I don't even know how to describe it. Come on, Mona. You never told us what these will seeds will do. Um... So that's what happens. I never expected that. I mean, I never expected an, anything less than that to happen. Now that's our Mona. Well, well I am quite brilliant. What matters is the power I'm sensing from it. Maybe it could give us an upper hand somehow in the future. Huh? Wait, we're just taking it? I'm not totally sure that's a great idea. Up. A Phantom Thief must make use of any available tool to accomplish a mission. Who knows what we'll find next? If we find ourselves in a situation where this could be useful, let's see what it can do. So this thing... This thing dropped the Crystal of Lust, which... Gives whoever has it Diorama, which is a medium healing spell that you won't even learn normally in the game until much later. This is a very good item to have this early in the game. And I'm going to give it to our designated healer himself, Morgana. Let's continue on. Yeah, but that Mara, he is tough. Don't be ashamed if you lose to him. If you beat him, he's really the strongest thing in this palace. And he, and even he's not bad if you use Dormina on him. Feel it. Well, let's check the search item. Ah, I got a crushed shield out of it. Going up. in here a chest talk about luck see it show me ambush the shadow we have a new enemy succubus strong against fire weak against wind and bless and it knows curse so obvious answer is obvious let's use morgana It's a gloomy shadow. Let's try talking to it. You want to talk? As if. I won't lend my power to someone that's some super lame. It looks so depressed. Go easy on it. Hey, that really hurt. Oh, what if this leads to scar and it's permanent? 
I'll take responsibility. <laughs> oh, yeah. How much will it cost to treat my injuries? Your allowance can't cover that. All right, I get it. You didn't really mean to approach me, right? When it came right down to it, you couldn't do anything to me. How could you tell? Oh, you're actually serious. I see. You kind of remind me a bit of myself. Wait, talking to you made me remember something. I'm so not a shadow that belongs here. I used to be in the human seas of souls. I'm succubus. I'm mean. I'm with you after all, so I hope we can get along. Stock is fuel full again. Fuel? The fuck is fuel? Alright, take out my corn. You've got a new mask, Joker. Okay. Let's press on. And we have a treasure chest. Oh. Lock two. Let's open it up. And we get a bead. Which is really nice. Let's open this door. Oh, Shadow might notice me. Oh! Oh no. There's a powerful looking shadow. Ooh, that could have ended badly. And I'll got him. Your true form. Silky leveled up, and she learned Dia. So now even Joker can be a healer. Okay. Easy win. They were nothing. Ooh, this sensation. I see. I can see it. Ah, the contraption is here to unlock it. Now you can go back to the entrance of the tower at any time. Open the search item, another nude candle stand. Man, Ewai's gonna have so many questions once we sell these to him. Hey, we can use this place. Got another safe room. Let's make a note of this place so we can come right back here later. What does Ryuji have to say? Yeah. If Moda's right, the treasure should be at the top of that tower. Just a little bit further. Couldn't agree more, Ryuji. Let's okay, press on. Let's move on. And we got a staircase that magically appears here. Got chipped glass out of that search item. Got some more shadows. And we got a new enemy, Angel! Weak to gunfire and curse, strong against electricity and nose bless. So, use our guns. We can't talk to them, they're a bit higher level than us. Joker leveled up to level nine. Well, now I can talk to those angels. Okay. Ha! Piece of cake. Focus. All right. Open up this chest. Get a sleep vial S, which I believe that'll just send a targeted object to sleep. So object shadow. <laughs> I called shadows objects. Gosh. Go through here. Got another shadow color. here. Morgana leveled up to level nine. Okay. Yawning. Continuing on, we got another strong shadow. Show me your but now form. we could actually contract with them. Let's give that a try. On oh, got a critical. He's an irritable shadow. Right, forgot that. These guys don't like talking, period. So no matter what, you can't make a contract with them. I think, so let me try again, just in case. Oh, we can talk to him. We just have to make sure all our attack could kill him. So that's your move. Then I guess I'll talk first. I'll decide if I'm going to help you after. What a grouch. Be the better man and act the opposite. You know, up till now, I did whatever I wanted. I knew it was going to catch up to me someday. If you're going to kill me, do a solid and make it quick. 
I'll have some more fun first. Hey, if you're planning on killing someone, it's not smart to put it off, Sonny. Hey, are you treating me this way because of how I look? What's wrong with the way I look, huh? You're ugly. That's the reason you're acting like this? Give me a break, Sonny. What a coincidence. My sentiments exactly. Hey, I can't believe it. I remember now. I'm no shadow from this place. I used to be living in that there sea of human souls. From now on, call me Bareth. No need for honorifics, Sonny. Bareth is a wonderful persona to have this early in the game. I'll give up... Uh, who should I give up? I'll give up uh, Incubus. You've got a new mask, Joker. 30 XP, even though I talked to him, so... Got another shadow in here. Ah, but first, let's see what Barrett can do for us. He knows Cleave and Raku Kaja, which increases defense for one alley for three turns. Pretty good. He's a good persona. He's a good building ingredient, too, I can for it. making more personas in the Velvet Room. Same with this dude. Form. We got a new enemy, kinda, Archangel, but this time he has a weakness. He's weak to electricity and curse, but he knows bless. He is much higher level than us. I doubt we're gonna contract with him. And Ryuji leveled up to level 9. Ryuji learned a new skill, Tarukaha. It increases attack for one ally for three turns. Good if you want a little boost. Okay. <laughs> Didn't even break a sweat. Got a search item here. Got a pearl inside of it. Now that might be easier to explain than the nude candlestick. So open the treasure chest and inside is a relaxed gel. Can't have enough of those. Go up these stairs, and we got another search item. Inside is a Victor Laurel. Focus. Open this. Got a cork bark. Then go up these steps. Let's try going this way. Walls will come up. All right. Any search items around here? Nope. All right, let's press on. Whoa, that was close. Wait, what is this? It's a classic security measure. My tail might be in danger if we try to force our way through. Oh yeah, same for panthers. So what do we do? No way we're getting through here as is. Hmm, looks suspicious. Ah, this looks familiar. Hey, look. Yo, you think this controls those swinging thingies? There's no reaction. Mm. I didn't think it would be that easy. We'll probably need a key for it. You gotta look for a key again? What a pain in the ass. Where would it be though? There weren't any suspicious rooms on the way here. Joker. Hmm, what do you think, Joker? An enemy has the key. Mm. Hmm, that probably Indeed. wouldn't be the most likely scenario. An enemy? You mean one of them shadows that's roaming around? No way, man. Dude, how many of them do you think there are? We can't beat the crap out of all of them. The key is for this tower, so it would have to be one of the shadows around here. On top of that, it would have to be a relatively high ranking one. Yes. Then we just need to look for shadows like that and defeat them. Let's do this, Joker. We need to find the shadow with that key. Let's. Let's backtrack. The shadows with the keys are quite a bit of a ways away, so I'm actually going to cut here. I'll meet you guys back at where the shadows are. I can feel it. While on the way back, I can now talk to these angels. Let me your power. You want to talk? As if I won't send, I won't lend my power to someone that's super lame. What's that shadow so damn happy? Hey, guess we ought to play along. Hey, that really hurt. Oh, what this leaves a scar and is permanent. Sorry. That's okay. Hey, be careful, okay? My skin is all sensitive. What you mean? Why are you so interested in me anyway? I'll go out with you just for today. There's no strings to catch. If it pleases you. Oh wow! Looks like you got some manners after all. Kind of remind me a bit of myself. Wait, talking to you re may remember something. 
I'm so not a shadow that belongs here. I used to be in the human seed of souls. I'm Angel. I mean, I'm you after all, so let's hope we get along. Yes, yeah, so sometimes the conversations can be the exact same. If you know the answers, they will be the same. As long as it's the same talking type for the shadow. I'm gonna give a cat's sit. That's a new one, isn't it? Okay. Let's open up my persona menu real quick. Angel knows Kuha, which is a light bless attack. She also knows Bakajama, which has a high chance of forget for one foe. This can stop... Forget can stop an enemy from using a move, which is super nice. And she knows Dia. Really good persona, honestly. Alright, now I'll meet you guys back at where the shadows are. Alright. So back here is the first shadow with the key. Let's take it down. your true form. This is Elagor. He is strong against fire, weak against electricity, and also strong against curse. So, obvious strategy is obvious. Attack with Ryuji. Let's go, Captain! Nice going, Finish up! I think just for the sake of finishing off, finishing him off, I can't. I no longer have a. Well, that came back to bite me in the ass. Let's try and use Dormino on him. Yes, it worked. All right, get a technical on him. On attack. There we go. He never got a chance to attack. Status effects are great. Don't be afraid to use them. Hey, that shadow did have something, but what the hell is this, an eye? Oh, I just figured it out. This must be how we stop the size. Oh, yeah, now that I think about it, the statue didn't have eyes. Uh, how much grosser can we get? So this is going to stop those things, huh? Well, we'll need one more. Let's go. Another guard captain probably has it. Let's try checking the other floors, Joker. That's all it takes for me. All right. Once again, the shadow is a bit further down, so I'll meet you there. And as meet you there, I meet five seconds. Crap! They look like all high-ranking soldiers. Are we gonna have to beat all of them? That would work, but it seems only the one act, one actual guard captain among them. Do you have any ways to tell them apart, Joker? I think you of all people would have the skills to figure out which is the real one. Hmm. Looks like they're gone now. I'll leave our next move up to you, Joker. What Morgana is talking about is the third eye. The third eye can actually reveal to you who has the key. The ones that don't have the key will just be a normal yellow color, while the one that has the key will be a white color. So you'll see that the white one is all the way up top there. So you don't have to fight these other two down here if you don't want to. But, just for the sake of grinding, I'm gonna do it anyway. The fake ones will always have two succubuses and two incubuses. Okay. Piece of cake. All right. Took down that one. Now let's take down this one. I'll reveal your true form. All right. That enemy was really weak. Those two, all the fakes taken care of. Now take care of the real one. I'll reveal your true form. Another one of these? That shadow has a lot of health. This will be a pain. Joker, I taught you how to strike your opponent's weaknesses, right? If you could blind it or put it to sleep, you'd have an easier time doing real damage to it. Thanks, Morgana. Technical attacks. I kind of went over this already. If you have a status effect, then hit... Hit a shadow with a certain ailment, it will basically act as a weakness. Technicals can be super overpowered later in the game, but you have to do a certain requirement first. I'll of course be going over that as we move on. For now, let's fight the Zelagor. Gonna have... Actually, no. On will just attack it normally. Ryuji Zio. Let's go, Captain! 
Knock it down. Give you all out attack. Joker, make it fall asleep. And it worked. Again, never got a chance to attack. Okay. Got the lustful lust right. left eye. Sweet, we got both of those bastards' eyes. Let's go to the swinging things. That enemy was really weak. It. Yep, we have to backtrack all the way back to the pendulums. We'll be right back. Joker leveled up on the way back. Okay. Morgana also leveled up on the way back. And Ryuji and On leveled up on the way back. Okay. Well then. We have both eyes now. Try putting them in, Joker. Use the eyes. All right, let's go. All right, we can get across. Not very stable, but there's a chest here inside is a breath ring if memory serves it's 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 that thing that does a free wind attack but isn't it no that's a breeze wing so what's a breath ring breathes new life into any outfit increases max hp by 10 percent. i am definitely giving this to joker <laughs> Shadow. They were too weak to All right, with. let's open this treasure chest. Got a revival bead out of it. Let's open this, and we get a strange lantern. Go up these stairs. Any more search items? Nope. Ah, there's one more shadow here. Ooh, he almost saw me, but I got him. And that was easy. Alright, go through here. Another chest. Inside is a revival bead. And I wonder if there's going to be a tough fight coming up. Then I'm gonna need these revival beads. So but the base. Rusted handcuffs. This is the final safe room of the palace. Huh. Looks like we can use this place to rest. We can now quick travel to the throne room. Let's make note of this place so we can come right back here later. What does Zahn have to say? Yes. We need to steal that treasure to teach Kamashita a lesson. Let's go whenever we're ready. Okay, time to go. Let's go through the ass. Don't laugh. Go up here. Down there. Okay, we're in. Quiet down, you idiot. Oh shit, it's Kamashita! No. And a ton of soldiers. How have you not captured the intruders yet? I apologize, my liege. Okay, let's I go. I bet he'd never imagine we're in the same room as him. Come on, let's keep moving. Let's move silently. Apparently Kamashita can't hear us breaking glass. And crates. Ha <laughs> ha. Take that, death PE teacher. Somewhere. Go through here. Open the search object. Got a pearl. And go through the door. Whoa. This sturdy looking door is pretty promising. Let's head inside. Oh, what is this place? Holy shit. That treasure thing's gotta be in here. Hey, what is this? It's floating in the air. <laughs> That's the treasure. We finally found it. That cloudy thing? Just hold on a second. 
I was planning on telling you more once we made it this far. Simply finding the treasure isn't enough. We'll need to make it materialize before we can steal it. What do you mean? Desires have no physical form by nature. Hence, we'll first need to make the real person aware that their desires are in fact a treasure. Once they're conscious that their desires might be stolen, the treasure will finally show itself. But how do we do that? We warn them. Tell them, they are going to steal your heart. So we're gonna send a calling card? Oh, that's totally what a phantom thief would do! Once we do that, the treasure will appear for certain. Uh, I think. That again? Either way, sounds like it's worth giving it a shot. Our infiltration route is secure. All that's left now is to pump out a calling card in reality, then come back to take the treasure. This is it, huh? Let's do this. That's the spirit. Once we send out the calling card, there will be no turning back. Just let me know when you're ready. We'll head back to the hideout and send out that calling card. The infiltration route has been secured. All that remains is to send the calling card to Kamoshida. Well then. We secured our route. What should we do now? Do you want to head out for today? Let's leave. Hey. Yeah, let's get the hell out of here before Kamoshida finds us. Before we leave, I want to make a visit to the Velvet Room. Do you need something? Seems you long to be in prison. I can grant that wish for you. I want to make some new personas now that I've made a deal with some shadows. As I said before, you're not going to be seeing my entire trip here. You'll just see the nitty gritty details. What is it? We are introducing a new regimen to your rehabilitation in the form of challenge battles. For these trials, we will permit the cognitions of your comrades to fight at your side. <laughs> Cry your tears of joy. Depending on your results in combat, you will receive some form of compensation for your efforts. Should you prove successful, there is no doubt that you will be rewarded and strengthened in body and mind. We've even prepared a special stage for you to undergo this part of your rehabilitation. Take this opportunity to demonstrate the furthest reaches of the strength you've gained up to now. Should you wish to attempt this at once, we shall oblige you. We can now have challenge battles by talking to the wardens. Uh, at cha challenge battles, as stated, are challenges. Uh, you can do them whenever you want. Your HP and SP will be restored to your previous levels. But any items you use cannot be returned. If you're defeated, the game won't end, however. We will be tackling these, but not now. Not until much later. So let's ignore that for now and go over the Velvet Room nitty gritty details. For starters, I fused Agathon with Kelpie to create Korupakuru. And honestly, that was it. Uh, I actually have a lot of strong personas that I'm quite happy with for now. So there's one more thing I do want to show. If you open the inmate, already. What? I pressed me by accident. So if you uh, press the inmate registry, the you can open the compendium. You can unlock any personas you may have caught to this point, as well as um, some DLC personas. Let's talk about these things. These things cost y no yen to summon. And Is this what you they're want? really, really freaking tough. So my policy on using these is use them if you want, but I'm not going to use them personally. Using them is basically cheating. These things are super powerful, especially Izanagi no Kimi Picaro, who has the move called the Myriad Truce, which is heavy almighty damage or to all foes three times. I like to call this move, press this button to win. It will kill everything you come across. If you want to play that way, you do you. But me personally, I'm not going to do that. Done already. Anyway, right. I am done here for now. No slacking off.
Now that I'm back from the Velvet Room, let's finally exit the palace. What do you want to do? We secured our route to the treasure. Do you want to get out of here? Return to the real All world. Right. Okay. All we gotta do now is steal the treasure that shows up. Yeah, it's finally time. But we should send the calling card first. When should we do it? Just hold on. Let's retreat for now. Then we can talk more about that stuff back at the hideout. Well done. Oh, and well done today. Anytime you complete the palace, it shows... Uh, how much progress you made in it. But since I fully completed the palace, everything should be done. When leaving the palace, your progress will be shown in the infiltration log. Your teammates will also comment on how far you have left to go. Yes. We finally secured our route to the treasure. All we need to do now is send a calling card. Hey, you better not be up to any trouble. You make just one mistake and your life is over. Instead of hanging around, you should be you should be studying or something. If there aren't any customers, you can use the shop. Thanks. Uh huh. You don't need to thank me. I'm just telling you to stay out of trouble. If you're gonna study, you can use that table. Just don't leave the place covered in eraser crumbs. All right. Oh, that's right. One of my customers mentioned that the counter is a pretty comfortable place to read. Well, your time's yours to spend. Just make sure you're, it's after my customers are gone. Or, hey, if you want to clean the shop, I'm not going to turn you down. The cleaning stuff's in the bathroom. In the evening, you will be able to engage in a variety of activities that will help you in your daily life. You can study and improve your knowledge at the table. And at the counter, you can read and learn about various topics. Using cleaning tools in the restroom will improve your kindness. If you spot a crossword puzzle on the table on the far end, give it a try. If you successfully solve the puzzle, you'll improve your knowledge without time passing. Back home yet? I'm pooped. Hit me like a ton of bricks right when I sat down. Well, I guess we did walk pretty far in. I'm glad we found that treasure thing, though. The Kamashita will turn into a good guy if we steal that, huh? Either way, it's up to you when we extend a card, Red. Call us to the hideout whenever you're ready. Got it. See ya. The real challenge is coming up. I hope you're ready. All right. Next time on Persona 5 Royal. We're going to be sending the calling card to Kamashita and finally changing his heart. This is One Stupid Gamer, signing out.